Today on ARS TV, we visit Great Lakes Dragway for opening day and talk with owner Randy Henning and founder Broadway Bob. If I had to do it over again, I'd do it the same way. In the ARS garage, we catch up with Sean Baker and find out what his plans are for the 2010 racing season. Uh, I'd like to run a lot more NMCA stuff. We head up to Alston Race Cars in Antioch, Illinois, where Mike Ruth shows us the completed updates of Sean Baker's 85 Firebird to a 25-3 certification. All this and more on this episode of ARS TV. Again, for everybody that's just coming in now, we'd like to welcome you to the legendary Great Lakes Dragway here in Union Grove, Wisconsin. It's the 2010 opening night, Friday, April 2nd. The weather is absolutely fabulous. My name's Dave Gale. I got Rob in the tower with me and a little bit of help from Brian Peterson also. So we'd like to welcome you and I hope you're all having a great time. They're still coming in at the big, big end of the track where the gate is. It's absolutely great out. Wind's a little bit big, but we'll put, get that covered later on. And it's going to cool off and the times are going to get better, so all, everybody have a great time and be safe. Amy Dayton here with ARS Promotions. I am with Randy Henning, uh, owner of Great Lakes Dragway, and today is opening day of their 55th continuous running season. Randy, what do you have planned for the season? I've got a lot of exciting, interesting events planned, but I think the most exciting thing is going to be the simplest thing. This year at Great Lakes Dragway, we're going to have progressive racing pricing for fun racing. On Tuesdays, we're going to have $20 Tuesdays. On Wednesdays, $25 Wacky Wednesdays. On Thursdays, it'll be $30 for bikes and $40 for slicks only. On Fridays, it's going to be $35, and on Saturday and Sunday, it's going to be $40 for fun racing. And the reason we're going to do that is because we want the cars to start matching up with the same kinds of cars that they can run against on different nights, so we're pricing it accordingly. Tuesday nights will be fun racing for cars that are basically street driven only, it'll be $20. Wacky Wednesdays is like anything can run, but we want relatively slow cars, which means nothing in a 6 or 7 second range. We'd like to have 9, 10, 11, 12 second cars. On Thursdays with slicks only, we can go as fast as you want to go, and we're going to have bike nights every week, Harleys every other week, all bikes every week. On Fridays, we'll have our traditional Friday night type stuff, and it's going to be $35 to race on Friday nights. Then Saturdays and Sundays, when we have all of our special events, if you really have to have fun racing, you're really going to have to pay just a little bit more because it's really hard to get a lot of fun racers in when we have Nitra Streetcar Brawl once a month, we have True Street once a month, we have uh, Mopar Day, we have Chevy Day, we have Ford Day, we have imports once a month. We're going to have Bug Fest again this year on the 11th of July. And uh, in between, we're going to have a whole lot of just fun. Google Great Lakes Dragway and you'll find we're the oldest continuously operating drag strip in the United States, which I'm sure means in the world, which probably means in the universe, which probably means anywhere anybody ever has been that can think. And if you want to race down the same race course that John Forth, Shirley Muldowney, Big Daddy Don Garlds, and Randy Henning has raced, come out to Great Lakes Dragway where the big ones run, 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 run. I'm here with Broadway Bob, the founder of Great Lakes Dragway. Bob, how do you feel about 55 years already? i tell you one thing. If I had to do it over again, I'd do it the same way, but I would like to have another 25 years. I love the people out here. I love the racing. The people at uh, current owners of the track are good friends of mine. And I know, like I said, all the racers that come out here, all the big names that have been out here, uh, they're all, this is part of my whole life. I got, I got a lot of years left and I'm gonna be here at Great Lakes Dragway. I have a building at the track where we have 
Broadway Bob t-shirts and all kinds of memorabilia. And I'd like to have you come in and just say, Broadway, thanks for being here. And, and I thank you for coming. Hey, Amy Dayton here in the ARS Promotions Garage. I'm speaking with Sean Baker, three-time Modified Superstock Champion, Outlaw Superstocks, and NMCA Racer. Uh, Sean, what else is there for you to accomplish in your career? Well, there's a lot. I'm trying to, uh, I'd like to run a lot more NMCA stuff. You know, get out there on the circuit and uh, try to win a championship there. Uh, maybe win a championship with the, uh, the True Street. Um, there, there's a lot out there to do for a big tire car. Uh, 2010 uh, is starting a new season and uh, there's a lot of changes in the air for your program. What can right. you tell me about that? Well, we uh, basically redid the whole car. You know, brought it up to certification to go faster. Um, it's over down at Alston's. They basically, you know, tore the car apart and made it legal and safer for me to go down the track as fast as I want to go. And uh, probably run some True Street with that, NMCA. You know, I still, you know, my heart's still with the Modifieds because I've run with them for a lot of years and I, I like the class, I like the people I run with there. So there's, uh, you know, there's endless possibilities as long as, you know, the funding's there and, you know, we've got good weather. Hi, I'm Mike from Alston Race Cars. What you're looking at here is Sean Baker's 1985 Pontiac Firebird. It was originally built by Rick's Racecraft uh, probably about 10 years ago. Uh, Sean started running it in modified super stock and uh, did very well with the car. He's now running a little bit faster and this necessitated a 25.3 uh, chassis certification. That's why he brought the car here. Um, we did an extensive amount of work to the, to the chassis itself. A lot of tubing had to be installed in the car. A lot of gusseting and uh, everything was done per the 25.3 spec. This is the first one of the, these cars that we've done here. Um, kind of caused us a little bit of grief because we've never done one of them, but um, it worked out real well. 25.3 cert uh, goes all the way down to 650. Um, these cars are not tube chassis cars per se. They have the stock front stub on them. And with all the power that's available nowadays from places like SRT and Legends Racing, uh, these guys are flying. and. Uh, they decided, the NHRA and SFI decided it was time to up the ante a little bit on, the, on these things and so they came out with this 25.3 spec. As you can see a lot of work was done in the driver's compartment here. The biggest part of this build was uh, the new spec does not allow any 2x3 or 2x2 tubing in the center of the car. And so all this had to be cut out and replace, replaced with chrome molly. They also require a, a lot more gusseting like in this area here down by the foot brace. You can see over in the corner there, it's much more triangulated than, than it was before. There's an X up in the roof. There's more tubing in the back of the car. The, uh, the biggest problem with some of these cars that were built in the, the mid 80s and mid 90s and that is that they were used, a lot of them used two by three tubing. This new 25.3 spec will not, does not allow any 2x2 two two or any 2x3. Two it all has to be chrome molly. And with good reason, these cars are really, you know, 650 is a pretty fast car. You're approaching 200 miles an hour and you crash one of these things, you better have a lot of tubing in them or somebody's going to get hurt. Well, Sean, ARS Promotions is having their first race day of 2010 on um, Friday, May 7th. It'd be a great opportunity for you to come on out and uh, do a little test and tune. Look forward um, to it. Hope to see you out there. I'll do everything in my power to be there. It's always a good time out there. Great. You guys put on a great, uh, a great show for everybody and enjoy it a lot. Thanks. That's right, ARS Promotions is having a race day uh, May 7th. And that's on a Friday at Great Lakes Dragway from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, spectators are free. Uh, for more information, go to ARSpromotions.com for further details. Hope to see you out there. As you well know, the racing season is upon us. Uh, one of the uh, most frequently asked questions that we get this time of year is, hey, my car's been sitting for six months in the cold garage. What do I need to do to get it prepped so I can get out April 1st to the drag strip? As far as the chassis part of it goes, we recommend everybody take everything apart on the car. 
inspect all the rod ends. You want to take the rod end and, and move it back and forth to see if there's any play in it. Uh, inspect all the threads, make sure there's no cracks or anything in it. Uh, and assemble everything with uh, anti-seize, put it back together again, look at the shocks, make sure they're not leaking. And then you want to move the suspension up and down in the chassis with the shock off to make sure there's no binding or any, any obstructions or anything like that. This weather in our area here is horrible for cars, especially if you're not in a heated garage all winter long. They, they tend, the aluminum tends to oxidize and rust form, so it's really not a big thing. You can usually do it on a Saturday afternoon and it'll save you a lot of hassles down the road. That's Alston's tech tip for the day.
sure to stop by our Facebook fan page to keep up with everything going on with ARS Promotions and ARS TV.